Hi, my name is Tom Mavro and welcome to the Cut It TV training channel. The channel has been set up to provide easy to follow training tutorials in today's key media production software. Cut It itself is a UK based training company with over 15 years experience providing hands on training in media production. If you would like any further information about our training services, please visit our website at www.cut-it.tv or check us out on social media. I hope you enjoy the following tutorial. The next tutorial is a quick look at linking and unlinking clips how you can actually delete the audio of a clip or the video of a clip once it's been edited to the timeline and also locking tracks. So at the moment if I select the video or the audio it selects both elements and if I do a backspace it's going to delete both elements. This is because by default the clips are linked. Now there are four main ways of getting around this problem. The first three involve unlinking the clip and you can do this by first of all right clicking on the clip itself and choosing unlink or selecting the clip and going to the clip menu and choosing unlink. That then unlinks the video and the audio so that they can be selected separately. I could then, for example, delete the audio but leave the video. Notice all the other clips on my timeline are still linked. If I wanted to relink the video and the audio, or for that matter, if I wanted to take a completely unrelated piece of video and audio and link them together, I would highlight them first by holding shift down and clicking on them. And then either do a right click and this time choose link or go to the clip menu again and choose link and that then links those two elements back together so they work as a single clip so they work as a single clip again the second option is i can turn off linking for the entire timeline and this is done by coming up to these buttons on the timeline here and clicking on this one link selection with this disabled all of the clips on the timeline are unlinked so again, I could go through and I could delete the audio of a clip without deleting its video, or for that matter, trim the audio without trimming the video and so on. If I then turn linking back on though, everything goes back to being linked again. The third method and a very quick way of selecting a clip as if it's unlinked, even though it remains linked, is by holding the Alt key down on your keyboard on a Mac and then clicking on the clip. And as you can see there, anything I click on as if it's unlinked, if I let go of Alt, everything's still linked. The final method for deleting the audio of a clip without deleting the video is to lock the video track and not lock the audio. By locking a track, you cannot then do anything to any item on that track. You can't move it, delete it, trim it. You can't edit onto the track anymore. It's completely disabled. So if I go up to the padlock icon for the video one track, just click on the padlock icon there. Then I select my audio for the clip and then delete. It just deletes the audio, but not the video. Mm -hmm. 